everyone, Amanda here from Test Equipment Depot. Today I'm with Frank Healy of Fluke, who's going to walk you through the 430 Series 2 Power Quality Analyzers. Hi. Hi. We're going to talk about primarily about the new motor analysis function for the 430 Series. This instrument you have is a 434, but we have the capability to upgrade this with a new motor analysis function. And we can also upgrade our other instruments like the 435 and 437. Okay. Or you can buy it in just one package as the 438. With this motor analysis feature, what we've done is we've added the capability to analyse motors while they're really in use in the field. So the mechanical performance information includes torque, speed, power, mechanical power, and also the efficiency of the motor while it's really being used in its normal environment. To get those new measurements, what we have to do, we have to add some information which comes from the motor rating plate. Every motor has a rating plate on it which describes something about the motor like the power, the power factor, the current and voltage which is used by the motor. In addition to that we also have to add information about the design of the motor. The design of the motor is information which comes from NEMA, that's the National Electric Manufacturers Association. And that includes things like the number of poles in the motor and the overall design of the motor. So with that information, we can then calculate those mechanical parameters that have not been possible to calculate previously. The important thing about having it in its working environment is that it means that we can really understand exactly what's going on when it's in real use rather than the test bed in the lab. So we can also find out whether the motor is overloading mechanically or electrically. So with that information, we can start to find out exactly what's going in when the motor's in place. So it may be that there's some mechanical restriction in the load of the motor or it may be that the problem is being caused by poor power quality in the motor or in the electrical services nearby. To make it easy as possible to describe what's actually going on, we have a set of coloured bars which go from green to red. If you're in the green zone, you're okay. If you're in the red zone, then maybe you need to look at what's going on in that area. We supply a whole set of these green and red bars which show for the mechanical power and also the electrical power. So we know where the problem's coming from by comparing what each of those screens tells us. So where can this motor analysis option be used? It can be used on both direct online motors, that's motors which are connected directly to the power line, but it can also be used on motors which are driven by an inverter. So you can look at variable frequency drives too. Yes. So once we have this information, how does that help us? Well, what it allows us to do is to go into the field, discover those measurements, find out where the problems are, and by fixing them, we can save energy. Great. Yeah. So why would I want to upgrade to this particular model? Well, all the models already have the capability to measure power quality. Mm -hmm. By adding this feature, it means that we can do extra jobs in everyday work. And motors are the thing that take up most electrical loads in most industrial facilities, so they're really important. Thanks, Frank, for coming by and teaching everybody about the Fluke 430 Series 2. My pleasure. Learned a lot. Thank you. So for more information on the Fluke 430 Series 2, click on the link below. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching another video, video from Test Equipment Depot. Depot.